Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's Saturday and we are into, I don't know if it's week four, five, if it's six, anyway, who cares, of confinement. Anyway, today from my kitchen, I just wanted to share another simple recipe with you. Since, uh, you know, maybe it's fun to have new ideas, see how uh, we are all trying to uh, keep up with being a bit creative in this confinement period. So I am going to be doing actually a, um, a hake today on a bed of uh, slowly poached onions and leeks with uh, curry, curry sauce. So stay tuned, I'll tell you more about it. So welcome back to my messy kitchen. What have we got here today? We have got probably about a half an onion just uh, sliced up. I've got a a leek as well. Now this recipe I'm making for about three people. Um, what else we've got? We've got some um, lemon infused olive oil. You can make this yourself just like I did. We're all using lemons these days. Instead of throwing away the uh, the outside, the peel, just peel it, peel the entire lemon, cut it up into some fine strips. I usually let it dry a little bit overnight and then plop it into a bottle, fill it up with some good olive oil, and there you've got your lemon infused olive oil. You probably want to leave it for about a week before you start seeing that flavor coming through. And you can just keep topping it up until it's time to change it. I've got some curry here um, from one of my favorite providers here in, uh, um, well, actually in the Pyrenees, a place called La Racole du Monde. They actually have a website. I'll give it uh, to my European followers because I know that they deliver. And I've also got some spinach leaves that I'm gonna put over top. I've got some nice hake uh, fillets ready to go. And I've got my frying pan warming up to start poaching those, um, all of, uh, sorry, those uh, leeks and onions. More to come. So as you can see here, I have got my leeks and onions. Oops, I'll get down here. Doing this through the camera is not easy. <laughs> I've got my leeks and onions nice and poached. I've added some salt, I've added some, some uh, pepper. Um, I've also added my curry because, I don't know if many of you know this, but when we use curries and spices, we want to add them before we add any liquid and we sort of want to also poach them or fry them a bit because what we're gonna do here is potentiate much more of their flavors, especially if we're looking for something a little bit spicier it's going to bring out that spice and make that um, curry just a lot more flavorful. So I'm just going to let those uh, finished poaching. As you can see, I've got always a trusty bottle of wine. I'm going to use a reasoning for this. And, you know, just another note here, if you wanted to add more vegetables to this, maybe you could cut up some uh, zucchini nice and fine, put it in here. Um, I don't know if you like, uh, if you like celery, if you like fennel you could also cut it up finely and then add it to this sofrito or add it to this you know to these poached onions and um and leek and um this recipe is inspired by my friends uh, isabel and angel who live in gredos and uh, they're the ones that got me onto this and then as usual i usually take things and try to um give it a different twist and so i've added the curry the wine um, and then what we're going to do, it's really, really simple, is that we're just going to take those fish fillets, once this is all nice and caramelized, and we are going to sit them over the top of this. We're going to put a bit more curry over those fish fillets, as well as salt and pepper. And then what we are going to do is put a bit of wine over all of that. And we're just going to cover it and we are going to let this fish poach on top of these leeks and vegetables. And basically this is sort of an all-in-one dish. You could cook some rice, maybe uh, cook some potatoes um, or grains like quinoa or whatever you like to serve underneath this. But again, as you can see, it's almost like a one, you know, a one pot dish, super simple and uh, really delicious. I'll show you the final product. And here it is cooking away. So what I've done is I've just um, added my spices, salt, pepper, a bit more, a bit more curry over top of the fish. I've sprinkled it with some white wine and I've just thrown those spinach leaves on top, which will just poach on their own. And um, I don't know, I've got the heat up to probably medium, maybe medium high. It's going to depend on your stove. We don't want it to obviously burn, but we just want to have enough heat there for it to create a bit of a... Um, 
uh, you know, a bit of a, uh, a vapor um, camera inside to for that pit fish to slowly poach. And for their spinach leaves to poach as well. You could put, put kale in there if you want it. Of course, you can, I've used hake. You can use any type of white fish. This is, for me, it's a nice recipe because sometimes we struggle to find different recipes and flavorful re recipes for white fish, you know, salmon, uh, uh, halibut, um, tuna. They tend to sort of hold their own, but white fish can be a bit trickier. So anyway, hope you enjoy. So this is what the final product looks like. It's uh, just finishing up, bubbling away. Cooking time, well, depending on the, uh, you know, obviously the thickness of your fish fillets, you know, it's not going to take much more than probably seven or eight minutes. Um, you know, I'm always sort of, I always sort of hang around and check, you know, stick a knife in there to make sure that they're not getting too overdone uh, because we don't want that, obviously, with fish, and especially white fish, it's quite delicate. So uh, what are we going to serve this with? Well, you know, like I said, you've got an option of rice, of grains, uh, potatoes, whatever you like. And certainly with, for this type of a dish, for in a, uh, a wine pairing or accompaniment, I would obviously suggest a white. I'm always, um, you know, keen to sit, to break into the bubbly. So definitely if you have like a Prosecco, a Cava, uh, Champagne, or even a... Um, you know, any other type of sparkling wine that would be ideal with this. Um, a, a white, uh, whether it's a Verdejo, um, a Good Riesling, a Gewürztraminer, um, uh, a Chardonnay, not too heavily oaked because it could be a little bit overpowering for this, this dish. But uh, yeah, definitely go for it. I actually have a Riesling because uh, we don't often drink German wines here in Spain. So I'm going to try one. It's been a eons and you've got to keep your taste buds active. Anyway, che aproveche. Bon appetit. Enjoy.